Poppies, table decker of Pharaoh Amenhotep III will be hanged on charges of colluding with the enemies of Egypt and attempting to assassinate Pharaoh Amenhotep and his wife and his son. Hang on the gallows until he dies gradually. And then his corpse will be eaten by birds. He will never see the West and will never have eternal life there. He will not be mummified. He will be thoroughly destroyed. None of these orders will prevent me the one God. I don't believe in your ridiculous religion any longer. I hate the useless Amon. Shut your mouth, faithless heathen. Shut him up. Shut, Shut, Shut him up. Pray to God to grant me strength to endure the hardship of the gradual death. you feel he's laughing? Yes. I feel that he is laughing. What's the matter? Why is he laughing? I think it's because he is certain he will go to the best place after death. I don't understand. Can one have a good place after death if he or she isn't mummified and doesn't go to the West?
One day, I'll send the real culprits to the gallows. Agmahu and other priests will be punished one day. Let's go. Where's Yusasif? Yusasif! The dream you interpreted came true. Apophis was hanged. I know. I've been praying for him since this morning. May God bless him. Inarus was freed, and given his previous job with the Pharaoh. Such a precise interpretation. How is it possible? Predictions are guesses a person makes. I gave their inner meaning. I received the truth about their dreams from God and told them. I just relayed his words. God bless Apophis and us all. How did you predict Yuzarsif? Was it by magic? Or the devil? The signs that guide others bring about nothing but loss for the wicked. You are wicked, sorcerer, magician! I'm not so stupid to accept your claim that you're a prophet, because you're nothing but a predictor, a sorcerer! <laughs> now, Excellency, use our thief. Any new prediction or sorcery? How long is your sentence? <laughs> Forever! <laughs> <laughs> Samira is a forsaken place. Nobody leaves it quickly. <laughs> you will be freed soon, Ninifer. What? I hope freedom from prison leads you to freedom from Satan. Did you hear what he said? I hope what he said won't come true, and you stay in prison forever. If that really happens, then I'll believe you. I'll believe you're the greatest sorcerer and magician in Egypt. The deceased hear not. They hear not God's message, nor the truthful words. And if they hear God's words, they will either turn their back to it, or call it a lie or sorcery. Let's pray for Apophis' soul. Almighty Lord, bless Apophis. Bless his soul and forgive him.
The Kepta is free to go.
O prophet of God, will you not preach to us? Sometimes the prophets were not successful in guiding some people. The deceased hear not the truthful words. Even if they do, they will either turn their back to them, or call them a lie, or sorcery. Your Excellency, what's the matter? It's nothing. I'm all right. We must go. Let's go. Your Highness, I have returned to their owners some cultivated plots on the Nile bank, which had been confiscated by the priests. But still the priests do not stop their greed or recalcitrance. I will kill Amon and the priests. Even if only one day of my life is left. Why do you not deal with the main reason? The problem is in the root of this religion. Worshipping Amon and other idols is the main problem. The god that is unable to control what his servants do leads his servants to despotism. It is the religion that you must change. Worshipping Amon is an ancient practice in Egypt. It is not an easy thing to eradicate. Longevity of a mistake does not justify it. As long as this religion exists in Egypt, so too will despotism. Your Highness, I know a young prisoner who believes the same. I can bring him to you, if you will allow. Your Highness! Call Sinuate, the court's physician! Hurry! Inerus must have delivered to the Pharaoh by now the message you sent. What's happened? Perhaps he's forgotten. Is it possible that he could forget such an important thing? We cannot always decide about our deeds. Maybe they didn't allow him to say it. I don't understand. Who didn't? The one who doesn't want Yuzarsif to ask for help. The one who is passionate and doesn't like the servants to go to strangers. That one that may have caused inner roofs to forget. What's wrong with him, Sinue? You are our court's physician and an expert on the brain and skull. Why are you not treating the illness of the young Amenhotep? Even expert physicians are powerless against some illnesses. And this is one of those illnesses. Is the young Amenhotep's illness epilepsy, or did he just faint? It is neither. I have remedies for both of those, but I cannot diagnose his illness. Then what do we do? You must be able to do something to cure him. 
Efforts must be made so he does not undergo excitement or anxiety until the treatment is found. I think the sorcerers in Amman Temple will be able to cure him. I do not need the treatment of sorcerers. A curse on Amon and all sorcerers and priests in his temple who think of nothing but gluttony and plunder. You mustn't insult Amon or the temple priests. Stop it, lady. I will not allow anyone in my court to support Amon or those priests. Get out! As long as Amon Temple has informers like Lady T in our court, they will never be defeated. Oh, great Amon. You are my only hope. Why do you not help me? Have I not always brought gifts? To you? Have I not always given you gold coins and valuable gifts? Have I not presented you with the best dishes? So why don't you help me? From whom can we mere servants ask for help if not from the gods? Who can we ask for help? But my lady, you are Amon's wife and one of the goddesses in his temple. How do you expect Amon to help you love someone else? <laughs> Why do you enrage me? That was no problem if I was in the house of Amon's wives and the priests had me every day. My love for you, Sarsif, is a problem. But the priests are servants of Amon. Oh, be quiet. I don't want to hear anymore. Very well, my lady. If insulting me calms you down, I have no objection. All this is your fault. Better you find a solution with your sweet tongue than piercing my heart with your bitter tongue. I told you before, but you didn't listen. Why don't you go to Potiphar, as you asked him to imprison you, Zarsif? Ask him now if he will free him. And Potiphar will not ask why I requested his imprisonment, and now I want his freedom? Your suggestions are as foolish as you. I am not able to bear the separation. I must do something. How did you, Sarsif, break your lock? I witnessed it. He didn't even touch you once. You broke by yourself. 
exactly like me. Remember how much they used to love each other? What a life! The world of the dead is more cheerful. The lady made it this way with her capriciousness. Potiphar didn't seem well. I saw that. What can I do about it? He needs a physician, not me. Seeing me might make it even worse. Your Excellency, your heart beats irregularly. You must avoid anger or excitement. And you must rest for a while. I'll prepare some medicine for you to take every day. But you must rest until the medicine is finished. What are you doing, Excellency? You know I said your heart is not well and you must rest. Despite my trust in the great physician Sinue, I cannot rest. It is dangerous for you to move. Managing the affairs of Egypt requires my presence. But I promise to take whatever medicine you prescribe. I will not be held responsible. If you ignore my advice, Your Excellency. Do you see, Kari Mama? The millstone. Crushes and grinds the wheat. The passage of time. Humans. During the eight or nine years Yusar Asif has been in prison, Lady Zaleika has aged 20 years. She is the one who had Yusar Seif imprisoned. She is the one who made herself suffer. It is her own fault. This headache will kill me. I cannot bear it. Call Sinue. You are 
are overdoing it, your highness. Your headache and illness are because of wine. It is the only thing that calms me, because without this oblivion, the headache will kill me. Long live the Pharaoh of Egypt. Fetch some water for his highness to take his medicine. Are you examining me to find the pain? Or you know what my problem is, but you won't tell me? Your problem is drinking too much wine. I have already told him that, my lady. But the great pharaoh of Egypt does not take my advice. I know well that wine is my treatment. And only wine can tranquilize me. A temporary tranquilizer, but a constant and fatal poison. No more gibberish. Can you cure my headache? Or not? Your Highness, if you don't stop drinking wine, I will have to open your skull and destroy the tiny worms causing the pressure to your brain's veins. The only worms that eat my brain and hurt me are the priests in Amon's temple. I won't be cured until I destroy them. But be sure I will never let you touch my brain. Because I know the chances of surviving a brain surgery are very slim. Then stop drinking wine. I won't stop, but I'll drink less. <laughs> What's that? Tell Inarus to prepare good and pure wine less often. <laughs> I warn, my lord, take better care of yourself. This means that not much of your life is left. Amen, O oh, oh, death.
What are you doing, Yirzasif? Growing flowers. He's supposed to do the same all his life. Huh? It makes no difference to Yirzasif whether it's raising flowers or humans. Didn't you hear? I said everybody out. No, you stay. I need to talk to you. Listen carefully. Your mother is a fanatical worshiper. Of Amon. Do not let her interfere in the affairs. Uh, after mummifying, I want you to bury me in the in the in the tomb I've made. Do not bury the sculpture of Amon with me, because I don't believe in Amon. Priests are dangerous creatures. They've chosen only to worship Amon for their own benefit, and they will do anything to safeguard their interests. Do not trust them. Tell your secrets to Potiphar. He will never betray you. Respect your mother, but do not trust her. Always love your wife, Nefertiti. Make sure you have children with her. Do not let my Bloodline end. Do not let Thutmos dynasty die.
rainy is like the rising and setting of the sun. Today, the sun of Amenhotep III set. Tomorrow, Amenhotep IV will rise. Today, Amenhotep III is mummified. Tomorrow, Amenhotep IV will be crowned. 